So, um, I just filmed the unboxing video for the Baby Lips Electra Collection, and in that video, I don't know if this is going to be up before that or after that one, so, um, but in that video I said that I would do a Baby Lips Collection video because I have cl managed to collect all of the Baby Lips that are in America, all of the American Baby Lips, and as I said in that video, I, I really want to try to get the ones from the other countries, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a way to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to swatch them all. I'm going to wipe my hand off because I still have the other swatches. I'm going to swatch them and I'm going to actually put one on right now. Oh my God, hold on. I'm going to put on one of my new ones. Mm, let's go for this one. So I line them up in numerical order because if you didn't know there are numbers on them and that tells you, you know, it tells you, it just, it doesn't tell you anything, it's just they have numbers. And what I'm really mad about is the spring collection and the electro collection, the numbers overlap. So that made me mad because I just wanted to line them up and everything be peachy. But of course, no, Maybelline has to be difficult. So now I'm just going to show you my videos. Not my videos. I'm not going to show you my videos. I'm going to show you my collection. So the first one I have is from the normal collection and it is Quenched, which is just the clear one and this one's Fruity. I have a consultant. What would you say Quenched smells like because you smelled it before? Okay, she doesn't know. But she was consulting me in the other video. I'm just going to throw her out of her job. But this one smells like fruity, really fruity. And I'm not going to swatch it because it's just clear. And it's it's one I grab often because um, I'm like really kind of religious with just putting stuff on my lips. So I have them sitting on top of my little makeup container drawer, and which along with um, Nivea Lip Butters and an EOS. And an EOS. So I keep those close because I'll just grab them and put them on. I'll just get out of bed, grab them, and put them on. It's just, it's a weird obsession I have, but I like to have my lips moisturized or moisturized and smooth and have something on them at all times. So this one gra gets grabbed often. The next one is peppermint. And as you can imagine, it just... It smells like peppermint, and it does, the smell is reminiscent of the EOS, the, that one, the green, light green one, the mint one of those. It's just peppermint, and it's in the green packaging, and the clear packaging on this, for the clear ones, is like a sticker, but that's because these are, it wasn't a repackaging thing, because that's what I thought it was, but it's really just, these have drug facts, because these are, um, these have like sunscreen in them and they're SPF 20. These are the only two in the entire collection anymore. Actually, I have one more from like when they very first came out that does have SPF in it. But um, yeah, this one's just, ooh. Okay, well, they're healing and that's why they have the different packaging. The next one is Cherry Me and it is the red one. And this one is also used quite often when I want. Um, it's very opaque actually. Um, I'll swatch it right now, or her. It's used when I want kind of a red tint, but I don't want to go full on red. So it's cherry me, and literally, guys, this is what a sweet tart smells like. It's so good, and my friend Lexi used to like steal it out of my purse and then sniff it. So, it's like literally in science, she'd just take my purse and get this out and just sit there and smell it. It smells amazing, and... It's probably my favorite. One, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite colored ones. The next one is Grapevine, which is what started this obsession. And this one does have SPF 20 in it because I got it when they first came out. I know gross, right? Not really, but yeah, it kind of looks gross now. But it's just in this green tube packaging, and I'll swatch it. And it's just purple. It's like a purpley, and it's so pretty, and it's definitely ooh a good winter color wear into the winter and again they're all moisturizing and I love them all so I mean 
Next one is Pink Punch, and this is the bright pink one. And this one is a favorite of pretty much everyone. Um, it just, and it smells really good. It smells just like Fruit Punch, and it's awesome, so, yeah. Also, um, if you notice, if you, um, smell closely some, to some of these, it sounds weird, but if you pay attention enough, a lot of the newer collections, the scents are a lot similar to the old ones. Like, the very original line, a lot of them are similar, so, just throwing that out there. Uh, next one is my favorite one of the entire collection from like the regular collection it's my absolute favorite and last summer this was like my go-to lip product and I lost it but I bought a new one and it's my absolute favorite and it is peach kiss and it is nude so I mean if you can see it but it smells like peaches it's my favorite scent I love the packaging I just love everything about this and it's my favorite one I haven't really used this one a lot because I do, or I have such more of a variety now, and I just got that one. It's just kind of, I don't know. But the substitute for that one, which now we're moving into the um, spring collection, um, was Twinkle. And it smells, like, exactly the same. And it's, like, this light, light pink. And it's pretty much just sheer, but it smells just like the peach one. And there's one in the Electro Collection that smells like the peach one. I don't remember what it is, but it smells very peachy, and I love I love this packaging. I just like the colors of this one. This one's, like, got my favorite colors. So, that one's awesome. The next one is Melon Mania, and I was hoping this one would be opaque, as pretty of a color it is, but really it's not. It's actually pretty sheer when you put it on. So, like, it's right there. But And it doesn't really have a scent. Like, it does, but it doesn't. Like, this was the most di disappointing one of that entire collection. So, yeah, this one was from the spring collection. But I do like the packaging of the colors. Oh, ooh, I'm throwing things today. I love the packaging on all the baby lips just because it's so cute. All right, the next one is Coral Crush, which is the orange one that was from the spring line. And it is... Just right there, orangey, and it smells just straight up orange, but I like it for some reason. I really like it. So, yeah, that's a that's a thing. That one's good. Now we're moving into the Electro Collection. There's still two more from the old collection, but where they overlap the numbers, I have them laying out, and they're kind of weird. So, yeah. Um, the first one is Pink Shock. Oh, Pink Shock. And it looks like that. And then you swatch it. Oh, it's right here. This is definitely probably, no looking at my hand, this is the most pigmented collection. So it's this one. And this one smells like, ras to me it smells like raspberries. Oh, I got it on my nose. But this one smells like, kind of like raspberries. But I'm not complaining because I like it. Um, the next one is Fierce and Tangy, which is one of the ones I was most excited for, just because it's a weird color. It's yellow, but when you swatch it, it gives you a slight yellow. It does come out a little bit yellow, but it's not like an overpowering, oh my gosh, your lips are yellow. But I like it, and this one smells like, um, it smells like quenched. People have been saying it smells like lemons, but I don't think it does. I think it smells like quenched, so smell dupes right here the next one is pink wink and when I bought this one I bought this around Christmas time not knowing that this was even going to be a part of a collection that would come out and I bought it in like a two pack and I really like it you know but it's this light pink and it smells like bubble gum and it is cool really cool and there it is swatched if you can see it but yeah it just it literally smells like hubba bubba bubba gum hubba bubba bubba gum yeah that kind of bubble gum the little blue and yellow packaging yeah that bubble gum is what it smells like next one is from the electric collection and it is berry bomb it's the purple one which is showing really 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 purple on my camera 
but I'll swatch it right here. There you go. It's right there. It's that one. But this one is very, 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 very fruity. Like, this one's really strong fruity smell, but um, I'm not complaining. I really like it. The next one is Oat Orange, which I thought was just like this one when I opened them. So, here. I'll... So, there's Oat Orange, and there's the Coral Crush one. But looking at them now, this one's, this one's darker, and then I don't think this one's as opaque. Well, the other one's as opaque. Yeah, okay, so... Um, wait, where did it go? Okay. Oops, I think... Nope, that's... This one is the Coral Crush right here. And then this one's the Oat Orange, so I thought they were the same. Because they have the same scent, but they aren't. Um, the Coral Crush is much more sheer than the Oat Orange is, so I was wrong. The next one is Yummy Plummy, which I think I've heard people say they don't like, but I like it. It's like this old grandma color, I guess. I don't know. It's a, it's obviously it's a plum color, I guess. And it's very muted and toned down. And it swatches pretty, I think. So, right there. It's, it's very, it's a very natural purple color. Like, and this one smells, what does this one smell like? I can't really tell, but it's very fruity. All of these are really fruity, I think. Like, except for the mint ones. Obviously, those aren't going to be fruity. But most of them are fruity. So, the next one is Minty Sheer, and it's the green one, which was another one I was very, very, very excited for. And I'll swatch it, because I thought, you know, why not? Okay, is there right? Is, you can't see it. It's, like, right there. But, okay, it's the mint one. It's green, it's sheer, and it's minty. And this one's a different mint than the one I threw in the floor back there. It's a different mint, which I get, I guess it smells different. So... There's that. That's a, that's, ooh, that's a thing. And then the last one is Strike a Rose, which I just dropped a bobby pin in my lap. <laughs> which is this bright pink one, and we'll swatch it right here. Yeah. And this one smells thankfully like Peach Kiss and Twinkle, so yay for that. So that is my entire Baby Lips collection. I have 17 collectively. I have all of them from all of the collections, including the um, normal ones, like the regular collection. And then I have the ones from like the spring limited edition. I don't know if it was spring or winter or whatever it was, but I have those. And then I have the electro collection. I love baby lips. Um, I think they're great to just kind of grab and put on and run out the door. It's a good little bit of color, but then it's also moisturization. And then some of them do have the SPF in them, so obviously SPF is good. Um, I, although I do really wish that they would reformulate the SPF back into all of them, because I think it's best to have something like this. A lip color like that is very good to have SPF. Like um, these lip butters, they do not have SPF as far as I know, but that's not really what they're for. These are definitely a chapstick, and I feel like they'd do much better if they did have the SPF reformulated back into them because there aren't very many colored chapsticks out on the market. And the only ones that do have the SPF here are the ones that are clear. And personally, I would much rather have something with color and SPF than one that's clear and no SPF. Well, and SPF. Because, I mean, I like color. And the target audience for these, I'm assuming, are, you know, teenage girls through, you know, 20, 30-year-olds. And honestly, I think that we would want color, and I think that the color and the SPF would do a lot better. So yeah, so this is my collection. All of them. Well, not all of them. One second. I'll grab the one that I dropped. Me, me. Okay. So, ah, this is my collection of all of my baby lips. I love them to death. They're my favorite beauty product, definitely because I love lip products. Obviously, it's one of the things I buy the most of, and these are definitely a favorite, and every time the new collection comes out, you can bet that I will have them because I love baby lips that much. It's really kind of sad. Ooh, I'm trying to make a triangle. Can I make a triangle? No, I can't make a triangle. Yes, I can. I can make a triangle. It just looks weird. Wait, I'm gonna do this. I will do it. 
I will make a triangle. No, I won't make a triangle. I'm kidding. Okay, so, yeah, baby lips. Raining from the sky. I'm going to rain them into this box over here. Oh, crap. Okay. Here, we're going to try that again. So, we've got my box that my Electro Collection came in. So, baby lips rain. Wait. Raining. Woo! So, oh, there they all are in a box. Yay for that. I'm just so excited to have all of them finally. Um, I've been waiting. I couldn't find the Electro Collection anywhere, and so I just went online, and they were sold out several stores, and some stores didn't even have them in stock. So I went to CVS's website, and they do have them on, in stock on the website. So I highly suggest that if you want them to go there, or else you're going to end, or if you go to Amazon, you'll end up paying 30 some dollars for the entire collection. And I only spent on these. They were $4 each, which really makes me mad because at Walmart they're only $3, but whatever. CVS is expensive. Yeah, so they were about, I don't know, it doesn't say. But, okay, 4 times 6, that's, what is that? I'm, I haven't been in school. So it's 24, right? Is that 24? She's asleep. <sighs> Yes, that's 24 Okay, So it's like $24 for all of those. And then I also, in that package, got free oral, oil absorbing sheets. So those are cool. So, yeah. If you guys want, like, lip swatches or something, maybe I can make a video on that or something. But, yep, there's all the swatches on my hand. They faded throughout the video a little. But, yeah, I love them. They're my favorite things on the entire world, Earth, as you can tell. And if you haven't tried them, I highly suggest that you do because... They are worth it. They are definitely worth it. I love them. Alright, so I guess I'm going to go try to edit this. Actually, my computer is not letting me edit right now, so I probably this will probably not be edited. So um, I'll see you guys later, I guess. Bye!